mind blowing, bottom pulsing, heart racing, eyes losing focus, stomach and nose. You can't cry for help. The only other sense is too intense to ever breathe, but it will be too embarrassing. Can you guess the cause of such emotional intensity? It is public speaking. I was scared of public speaking. On my first day at a new school in a new country, a teacher asked me to introduce myself in front of the whole class. When I heard their freeze, I did not know why, but suddenly became paralyzed. My mouth was wandering. My thoughts were colliding with each other. I heard like a million people telling me to run away, like my head was literally not working. It felt so prolonged, but it's probably only a minute or two. I was shocked. I, I had never been like that before. And that day, took away my confidence in speaking in front of people. We call this phenomenon the fear of public speaking, scientifically, glossophobia. Individuals who suffer from glossophobia typically experience anxiety when speaking in front of others. And as a result, they avoid speaking in public to avoid embarrassing themselves or being rejected by others. Humans, social animals that we are, are always cautious of our threats. Public speech can be a threat. This threat reaction stems from a primitive part of your being that's very hard to control. It's the fight or flight response, a self-protective process seen in a range of animals. When humans face a threat, there's basically two options. To either face it, and can fight, or to run away from it, and can fight. Besides the psychological explanation of fight or flight response, glossophobia can be explained by both social group and cognitive theories. One of the most fundamental reasons that humans fear public speaking is closely related to social identity theory, which focuses on how people act according to their perception of their place in society. We all want to be liked by others, so we want to act nicely and perform well when in front of others. Hence, we are scared of making mistakes when in front of other people. When we do public speaking, we technically put ourselves at risk of not being liked, if we, of not being liked by others if we don't well greatest nervous about it. So, let's imagine that you have to talk to a stranger. How would you feel? Now, multiply by 100. How would you feel then? Probably not great, right? Social inhibition, a social group theory, shows that people often underperform when audiences are familiar to them since they all feel scared. Glossophobia happens under the same mechanism. When you need to talk in front of an audience and you don't feel comfortable with them, then you just feel your confidence is shaking. When you are nervous, what thoughts do you have in your head? I bet that you have probably crafted a million scenarios that go wrong, such as what if people judge me because I mispronounce a word, or what if people laugh at me because my hair looks funny. I just forget everything. Am I right? I'm sure I am because that's exactly how I feel right now. So this brings me to the next point of how cognition affects glossophobia. So for example, when you have negative views of yourself, you will think you want to go. Social confidence will hinder you from performing as well, which again feeds to negative self-image. The term self-image is how you perceive yourself. It's a number of self-impressions that have built up over time. Therefore, when someone has negative self-image, it means that a person is doubtful of their capabilities. So, how did I even deal with this view? To be honest, I still get nervous before and sometimes during my time on stage. However, there are a couple of things that have helped me a lot. So this is what I did. 
First of all, accept, admit, and acknowledge that you are afraid of public speaking. To overcome the fear, you should at least know what the problem is, right? But don't feel sad because that's completely normal. According to the National Institute of Global, National Institute of Mental Health, as much as 75% of the world's population has the fear of public speaking. To a certain degree, as human beings, who are willing to increase their chances of survival, it is absolutely normal to have their fears. Second, understand that the fear of public speaking should not be perceived as scary, since no matter how people seem to be confident in a small group situation, almost everyone gets nervous when in front of an audience. And this is almost an evolutionary treat. Thereby, you should realize that what makes us scared is the thought of social rejection. So by understanding the nature of the fear, you should cure to build it. Lastly, reward yourself with every single step you do, though it might be a small one. Overcoming the fear won't change overnight. It requires lots of time and effort. When you have public speaking fear, you probably imagine hundreds or even billions of bad scenarios. Those thoughts will gradually destroy your self-image. A self-image is something that has to up over a long term. It also requires an abundant amount of effort to rebuild. So, you need patience. Motivation is the best energy to enhance your patience. Therefore, it is important and necessary to reward, appreciate, and celebrate every single step you do to take towards your goal. Well, I can't believe that I made it to the end without breaking down. I hope you will eventually overcome this philosophia thing because I truly believe that everyone can, as long as they're aware of reasons behind. You do not have the public speaking fear because you're a bad speaker or you're going to trip and fall on the stage. Think about what is really stopping you from speaking, just like when you solve a math problem. Remember, the solution could be only effective when you know what the metric is. Maybe, depending on people, it might be harsher or less. But if you try without giving up yourself, you'll see changes. Remember that one step at a time and be patient with yourself. So goes for him, fear of public speaking, what's the matter? Thank you.